Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay. I am introducing you to my first video ever. Please do not judge me. And I will say that this intro has nothing to do with the actual video. This makeup look is not the makeup look in the video. I, I had filmed the video last week, but I completely forgot to film an intro. Uh. <sighs> So in the video you were about to watch, I started out filming kind of like my everyday look, but it ended up being a ColourPop X Kathleen Lights collaboration tutorial with her uh, with her palette Dream Street. Be patient with me. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's do this. Okay, so my brows are on today. I'm gonna prime my face with the Elf. There we go. It's just really basic. It doesn't have like the label on it or anything. It's like $8 and really good. It's not moisturizing or anything. It's just a good base to your face. I need to take my nose ring out. I usually always take my nose ring out while I do my makeup. <laughs> sometimes I'll just use a little bit of primer. Sometimes I'll smear it everywhere. Today looks like the smearing kind of day. <laughs> Today I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. It's not like my everyday foundation or anything. It's just something that I've been trying recently. And I really like it. The finish is really pretty. Um, kind of satiny. But it does crease really fast. So you have to set it for sure. Or at least, my, I guess, I have a creasy face. My face creases, like, really fast for most things. Okie dokie. It's usually my forehead that creases faster than anything. We'll get to that. I'm having trouble getting it out. Okie dokie. Let's go in with the second layer. For concealer, my everyday concealer is usually the Catrice Camouflage Concealer. It's like $5 from Ulta. It is the best, most full coverage. I own a lot of concealers, but that one is my ride or die favorite. It's very full coverage. It's very creamy. And it blends amazingly, but I have scraped the bottom out of that one. It is completely empty. So today I'm going in with the... Maybelline Master Conceal. I've only used this a couple times, but it is full coverage AF. We're going to set everything really fast with the Milani Prep Set and Go Illuminating Transparent Powder. Powder. 
going in with the elf brush just in my creasy forehead I am going to contour and try to bronze a little bit with this elf bronzer in the shade light matte I've been using this a lot recently and I'm kind of obsessed with it it's really smooth it blends really well and it is so pigmented my ass usually goes in with a heavy hand and ends up having to blend way more than I should have to blend but that's okay This is like my normal blending side. This side always blends so well for me and this side is always like a pile of mush every single time. I don't know why this side hates me. Probably should have started out with this side, but this side always has something against me and this side is always like, boom, you're done. And to warm that up, my favorite everyday bronzer that I like to use is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. I just like to go over top of that and buff that in. Like I said, this looks like a patchy bitch. Sometimes I'll contour my nose, but typically every day I don't. For everyday blush, um, I like to go in with the Essence Satin Touch Blush. And this is in the shade Satin Love. And it's like 2 or $3 at Ulta. It's beautiful. And for highlight, I've been trying out a bunch of different stuff lately, but what I keep seeming to go back to and what I can't put down at all is this Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Palette. This shade that has a little chunk out of it. It had that chunk out of it when I bought it, but it was either this one or one that was completely crushed up. I got it at Walmart. Typically, I'll use this shade. Sometimes I'll mix the two shades. This shade is really pretty too, but I typically don't use a lot of pinky shades. I'm gonna just go in with this shade right here. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do for the eyes yet. Um, I usually just wing it. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette. I've only used this once. It is amazing. Literally amazing. It's perfect. I love it. Everything is absolutely beautiful. I think I'm gonna go in with Shooting Star and just blow that everywhere on the crease.
Now this is a bit of a challenge. I have never filmed myself doing my makeup before and I've really got to hand it to all the beauty gurus out there. I'm gonna go back in with the crease shades and just deepen that shit up some more. Okie dokie, I got my shadow on my other eye. Now I'm going to tightline my upper eyelid with the Essence Long Lasting Eye Gel Pencil. For my waterline, I'm going to go in with this Koki Velvet Smooth Eyeliner in the shade Forest Green. It's so pretty. For lashes, I'm going to go in with the Koki Volume and Length Mascara. I use this mascara pretty much every day. I have a ton of mascaras, but this is the one I am always reaching for. Um, it gives me tons of volume, a lot of length. Okay, so my mascara's on. Now for the lips. Boom. Now for the lips, I'm gonna line my lips with the Koki Retractable Lip Pencil in the shade Natural. And I'm gonna fill that in on top of it with the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in the shade Almond Rose. And since we are in the Dream Street kind of mood, I'm going to go in with the Kathleen Lights ColourPop Lip Gloss in the shade Moonchild. I love ColourPop Lip Gloss. This one in particular stays in my purse. And last, I am going to set my face with the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. Okay, so we're going to close this video out with terrible hair. Um, oh, 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 and lipstick on my cheek. I don't even know how I did that. So, this video had a lot of issues, but it's my first video ever, so be nice. This video quickly turned into an everyday look to a Kathleen Lights Dream Street kind of look. But it's okay because I like it and it's my first video and I'm going to post it anyway. Or at least 
I'm going to see what it looks like in editing and then I'm going to post it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. So I hope you liked this video. If you didn't, I completely understand. If you did, for some reason, if you stuck around, if you stuck around to the end, subscribe to my channel. Okay, thanks. Bye. I don't say that. I think this little tube is fun. Oh, and there's a hair on my face. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit. Maybe that would help. This is too far. This video is going to be a mess. Bitch, I forgot to put concealer on my chin. Boop, boop, boop. Still zooming in. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm down here, you guys. I'm learning. Autumn, you can come say hey. Hey, guys! <laughs> Thanks for watching our videos. <laughs>